worship my maker, him alone. Oh, you who made me, I worship you. I put my head on the ground for you. I stay away from bad things. So Allah has prohibited things, intoxicants prohibited because he wants you to use your brain. That's it. That is it. Had, had intoxicants not covered your brain and, and made you, uh, you know, uh, not be able to think properly and do things properly, Allah would never have prohibited it. Not at all. Evidence of that is there will be uh, wines in heaven that will be non-intoxicating. And the term wine initially in the English language refers to pure extract of uh, fruits and so on. You know, that fruit juice, it used to be called wines. When they say uh, so and so drank wine in the scriptures, they're not talking of intoxication. They're talking of the purest of fruit blends. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. May Allah bless us with those uh, juices and, and blends and uh, extracts of the fruits in Jannah and in this dunya in a beautiful way, non intoxicating. So Allah says something is bad for you. I have told you it's bad for you and I don't want you to do it. So whatever Allah has prohibited, it's not good for you, whether you understand it or not. When Allah says dress in a certain way, if you don't, there will be repercussions. What they will be, People may have the courage to talk about or may not have the courage to talk about. Because in actual fact, when we look at the freedom on the world or on the globe today, some people say that we're not actually free to say what we want. We're only free to say what is acceptable to others. That's meaning that's what some people say, that you can't just say what you want because you'll be in trouble. Allahu Akbar, is that true? Subhanallah. Well, some people have the courage to tell you when you don't dress appropriately, this is what happens. There is a psychological impact. There is an impact here. There is a loss of respect. There is whatever, whatever. And others will say, go to hell. You're talking nonsense. Well, we're facing it in the last few years, in the last decades. We're seeing things and results. You can go and study. You can go and have a peep at what's going on. Subhanallah. Where are people losing it completely? Allah says, when you lose me, you will lose yourself. Subhanallah. So. When the rules and regulations are set by Allah, I promise you they're only set in order for us to be able to live the best of lives.